of paper and I'll, I will make you a piece of paralyzed paper. Thank you. I'm making it to have a little handle so maybe it'll be easier to pull out. So, you can see again. If you want to play with the flashlight, you can see it better. So what we're seeing is the paper doesn't burn, it just goes black. Mm -hmm. The gas is coming Yeah, you can yeah. see that thing that looks like fog coming off of them, those are actually the gases being released. And you can see them going down. Try and extract it without putting it out. Mm, not so good. Why don't we do this? I'm going to make some smoke yeah. and I'm going to take off the cap. Maybe that one. So I've burnt my hands so many times I don't mind. I don't want to burn your hands though. Just blow that out. Oops. It's actually not all that hot. Hot this. No, but this will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, may I make a lot of smoke for a very brief moment? I have no idea. You can try it. <laughs> okay. I'll need a match. Okay, for the final, at the risk of making a very big amount of smoke. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to show that this is a gas stove and not a solids stove. Okay. So, gas flame. And, and that way you know that it's a gas stove. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically, if, you, if we just put it out, then we could pick up. Yep, but it'll make lots of smoke while it's doing that. But you could definitely pick it up then. Because uh, you mean so, so when Cause, we, Because what, what happens... Well, when, when you take the cap off, that's... Well, when you take the cap off, yeah. once the flame's gone, yeah. the problem is, is the stuff that's pyrolyzed, oxygen will get to it. Yeah. It's very it starts, hot, and it's so it it's, it'll ash. start to burn. Yeah. But you can stop that if you allow it to pyrolyze all the way down, let the stove cool, and yeah, then so you, you just, just cap leave it. it yeah. Right, put a cap, cap on it, and leave it. Leave it. Okay. Once it's cool, take it up, and it won't be hot enough to then ignite, and exactly. you're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, let's see how much fuel we've used, and whether or not it's more or less than this, because now we've gone enough to have burnt this in a wood stove, yeah? Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, also think about, um, I mean, saving fuel is important, saving health is important, creating time. jobs is important, but time. If, if, if it takes six hours or three hours to cook my soup, if I just put the pot there and don't have to touch it again for three hours, I've given somebody three hours. Mm -hmm. I would like three hours. Um, so let's just take it apart. So, how much? How much did we use? Just go dig. I mean, do we have a tray we can pour it out on? Is there a cookie tray? Yeah. 
Ah, now, I want you to see what's happening. What's happening to the pellets? They're dissolving. And what's happening to the biochar? It's, not, it's staying it's the same. Right. 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 And the importance, the importance there is the biochar is very, very stable. Yeah. Have been used. You see little black dots. Yeah. yeah. So is it necessary to fill it all the way up? Does it have to be cold? Well, again, you do it culturally. So if you're in Zambia where the cook time is six hours, you make the stove to cook six hours. I'm thinking more in this case. I mean, in this case, no. We clearly use too many pellets here. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But this is designed, this is a stove designed for two and a half hours of cooking. But it's okay if I have one to burn for sure. Absolutely. Then, then you put a different amount. So Soups and, and corn porridges, and you know, uh, in yeah, in Haiti also they they cook uh, rice and beans. And the, um, again, respecting cultures, it would be much more energy efficient if you soak the beans first. But that's not the tradition. So they cook the beans when they're dry. Yeah, but you can't force them to change, right? Wow, thank you so much. My uh, pleasure. Yeah, it's uh, it's been very interesting. And uh, and we made a mess really in your office. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is fun, yeah? <laughs> Here we have bio yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's how much fuel we've used, eh? So uh, where, where in the process are your company? Uh, how many of these have you produced? And have Thousands, you? and we're uh, um, in many, many countries now. Yeah. So okay. Bit by bit, yeah. teeny tiny projects, yeah. but like the Italians say, goccia per goccia fa la fontana, right? <laughs> yeah. Drop by drop, you fill a whole fountain. Yeah. And there are 2.5 billion people in the world who are cooking on open fires right now.